Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Who do I have in the studios with me? Elizabeth Faulkner. And, and Doris Day, Dr. Doris Day. Welcome, ladies. Dr. Dr. Day, will you set, you're a board-certified board dermatologist. Will you set the medical platform about more than skin deep? Informa inflammation serves, uh, it has a great impact on us. Oh, absolutely. I'm talking about a specific form of immunologic disease called atopic dermatitis. And this is a chronic form of eczema. It affects an estimated 1.6 million adults who suffer from the moderate to severe uncontrolled form of atopic dermatitis. So if you're suffering from it, know that you're not alone and that um, this is an area of active research. What happens is it can occur at any age and anywhere on the body. Um, what you feel initially is just a really unbearable itch that can burn and sting as well. That itch, you can't resist the scratch. That can create the rash. The rash looks like thickening of the skin, oozing and crusting. And when I walk into a room of someone who has atopic dermatitis, I know right away because they're so uncomfortable sitting in their chair. They're sitting there just scratching at their legs and their hands and their body wherever they have um, atopic dermatitis. And, um, and they often are also emotionally impacted by it as well because it's a chronic condition. It's unsightly and uncomfortable, so it makes it so they don't want to go out on job interviews or dates, and, um, and, and they really can feel very isolated in their lives. So we have to deal with it on very many levels. Is the dermatologist able to identify this? You know, it's so, sometimes it's so hard for, not, and, not, and not just picking on dermatologists, no. <laughs> but it, it, it's hard for them to identify these things that are wrong with us. And, and thus they treat them incorrectly and you get a little relief, you don't get full relief yeah. because it's probably not the right uh, formula. Well, you're right. As a dermatologist, we have to be medical detectives. We have to get a really good history and try to understand everything around it. So in my mind, when I see somebody for the first time, I'm thinking about so many different things. Sometimes I even do a biopsy, take a little skin sample and send it to the lab if I'm not sure. But I do run down a whole list of possibilities to understand exactly what's going on for that person. And, um, and then we try to manage it as best we can using both prescription and over-the-counter products. Sometimes we have to rotate our treatment because some things work for a while and then a trigger happens or they get used to that treatment and we need to try something else. So we manage it on many different levels, but you're right, making the diagnosis is critical and our assessment and understanding of what's going on with that patient is very, very important. I'm going to move to Elizabeth in a moment, but I want to ask you one more question. Once you prescribe the answer, say that the doctor gets it right, sometimes it's a process. It, it doesn't get uh, uh, better overnight. You have to go through the process, correct? Or is it going to oh, be a Oh, absolutely. Cure? When you have any chronic condition, you um, have to go through a process. It takes time for the medications to work. The good news is that with some of the treatments we have, they can work within a few days. So we can know pretty quickly. And sometimes um, when, you, when you have a lot of breaks in the skin, we think about infection and other things as well. So a lot goes through our minds and, and we worry about our patients and we, we're very methodical in how we um, go through the differential and the treatment program. So it is something to definitely manage on an individual basis. I always say it's one size fits none. As a dermatologist, I'll manage every patient with atopic dermatitis in a unique way that, that works for them, and I'll follow them and monitor them closely to make sure I understand their triggers, help them understand how to minimize those and control it. And, you know, I encourage you to go to the website because, you, you know, you're asking all the best questions, and we 
kind of, we did put that on the website as well, which is understandad.com. It has a lot of facts and information about atopic dermatitis, as well as Elizabeth's really inspiring story about it. Elizabeth, thank you so very much. You're an award-winning chef and a media personality. We're used to seeing you on TV, and I didn't see any breakouts on you the last time I saw you. Well, I was diagnosed with atopic um, dermatitis, moderate to severe atopic dermatitis, when I was uh, 30 years old, so about 20 years ago. And um, I had it uh, while I was running around working in my restaurants in San Francisco and uh, had it on my legs, um, very severe itching, burning, uh, flaky, kind of oozy, um, scabbing sores. And then I also had it on my hands. And, um, and th that was probably the hardest time uh, in my life because it's, running a restaurant is a very challenging job, but having uh, this disease on your hands, it's very unsightly, um, very painful. I mean, you know, I'm cooking with all these ingredients. I'm using my hands and next to the fire and washing my hands all the time and putting on latex gloves. And uh, it just... It's as if it's not hard enough to be a, a chef in a restaurant. You know, it just it was a, a bigger challenge than I've ever had to deal with. Um, I actually have tried to use a lot of different prescriptions and ointments and lotions and rotations and stuff like that, um, and maintain a healthy lifestyle. And I would say that now, I mean, I'm not working in a restaurant now, so that might have brought down my stress level tremendously. Um, and I try to manage it that way um, on some level, but I do get flare-ups, and uh, it's still something that drives me a little crazy once in a while, where I'm. Uh, trying to go to sleep and I'll have it on my legs and it's just so, it's unbelievably itchy and I you know it's it's just a frustrating disease and and there have, have been times where I'm you know going to a pool party or something and I have it on my legs and I I've kind of tried to uh, you know use my type A personality and and sort of steamroll through things but um, and just kind of shrug it off but it's something that I still uh, am frustrated to in dealing with so I'm I'm happy to have joined the Understand AD campaign. Um, you can see my story on the website, understandad.com, and, um, and learn more about this disease and all the facts. You're very articulate in your story. Thank you so very much. Dr. Day, we're going to wrap up with you real quick. One, what's your last recommendation, and where do you want my audience to go for more information? If you think you have a skin condition that might be atopic dermatitis or something that's uncontrolled, definitely see your dermatologist so we can help assess and make the proper diagnosis and guide you. And for more information, go to understandad.com because it has a lot of great information there as well as Elizabeth's story. Dr. Doris Day, dermatologist, <laughs> the best dermatologist I know, and Elizabeth Faulkner. Thank you. Great to be Thank back. Thank you.